Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how I usually set up my Kodi installation. So this is gonna be from scratch, so it's totally empty. And I'm gonna try to do it as clear as I can. So let's start with opening Kodi. So what I'm gonna do first is turn off the annoying sound. So I'm going to system, appearance, GUI sounds, none. Okay. So as you see, there are already uh, some updates coming in. So just don't ignore those. So I'm going to go to video, files. So this is the first run. So it will show you that on the left side there is also a menu. So files again. So I'm going to add videos and since all my videos are on my NAS drive, so my network server, I'm going to do something extra here. So I'm going to do write browse. So I'm instead of uh, choosing one of these options, I'm going to do add network location. So my NAS drive is an SMB drive. So let me type in the name. So in, instead of the name, you could also do the IP address, but I like doing the name. Uh, username. Okay. So why do I do this is instead of each time going to the Windows Network uh, point and waiting, I now added a special uh, item in the list that directly goes to the server. So I'm going to do multimedia. I have all my uh, media located in separate uh, folders, as you see animation, anime, cabaret, cartoons, photos, movies. So I'm going to first add animation. So OK. So what you can do now is add another uh, path under the same source. But since I don't need it, I'm not going to do that. Uh, you can also change the name, but I'm going to keep it at animation. So animation contains for me uh, movies. So these are in separate folders. So each movie has its own folder. I want to scan recursively. Uh, what you can also do is change settings. And here you can set preferred language. So these are abbreviations of the language. So I could also pick uh, Dutch with an NL. But since I always used an English, I'm going to keep it on English. So that's OK. Hit OK. Do you want to refresh the information? Yes, I would. So it's now going to scan that animation folder to my library. So in the meantime, I can add uh, another folder. So this is going to be movies. Again, I'm going to keep that movies, which is cl quite clear. Uh, again, separate folder, scan recursively. OK. Yes, I would like to scan. OK, next one up is um, TV shows. So as you see, uh, instead of going um, TV and then inside the TV show folder, I'm going to pick the root of the folder of for TV shows. So this is very important that you pick the root folder where all the movie or all the TV shows are located else Cody cannot find them. So, okay, so this time it's TV shows. Um, I'm not going to check any of these options. So again in settings you could choose the language or uh, DVD order. Um, my, mo uh, my TV shows are all uh, by air date. So sometimes when they release the DVD they're on in different um, order. So some episodes could be mixed. So there's the use DVD order. 
but I don't need that one. So again, I'm gonna TV shows, no options, hit OK. Yes. Now I'm gonna add my anime. Multimedia, anime, these are all TV shows. Again, I'm gonna leave it all like this. Yes. So, uh, next up is music. Add music. Browse. As you see here, the path I created uh, has been is also present here. So that makes it quite easy to browse to my media. So I'm going to go to music. As you see here, I have it split in albums and singles. Uh, it actually, these are all uh, sorted by uh, artist, and the singles are all by year. So Cody doesn't actually care because it reads the files itself. So I'm just gonna hit OK, and here it asks me, "Do you want to add the media to your library?" Yes, I would. And now in the background you see uh, it's now scanning all the files. So you see uh, the music, uh, the movies and TV shows so on the top right here. You see it uh, switching. So the reason I started with this because it takes a, lot of, a, lo a long time before it's done. And so in the meantime I can do something else. So what I'm going to do now is to go to System, Appearance, International. Um, I, here you can change the, the language, so in my case I could switch to Dutch. But for this video I'm going to keep it in English. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, it's now in the region Australia. So I'm going to set it to Central Europe and what that changes is the, the date notation and the regional setting like 24 hour clock. Uh, it's going to put it in Celsius for the temperature, uh, kilometers an hour. Um, so file list, show parent folder, uh, I, which I don't like so I'm going to turn it up. Let me show you what it actually is. So if I now go to movies, you have these two dots here. So th that's the parent uh, item. So since I don't need that personally, I'm going to turn that off. Uh, screensaver. Um, there are several uh, screensavers available already. Uh, Shader Toys is a quite nice one. So that's only available on some platforms. So it has some weird effects, as you see. So and gonna keep that. Let's put it down five minutes. Uh, next up, video. Um, I want to group uh, all the movies in sets. So if like for the Star Wars you get one item in your library and that item contains several uh, movies. So instead of uh, all the six movies currently out on uh, out on DVD or Blu-ray, you now get one. And by entering that single item, you get the six uh, sorted by year. Um, playback. So I always want English. So you can actually pick um, several options. So also user interface. So if you put it in a different language, you can just use the interface language. It would automatically select that one. So in my case, let's keep it in English. Uh, prefer default audio streams. Um, I like this one off. Because uh, some videos uh, have the AC3 uh, audio codec as default and not the DTS one. 
So if I turn this off, it will automatically pick the best audio quality or uh, codec. And in this case, it would prefer uh, DTS over AC3. And if you had DTS HD, it would pick the HD above the DTS. Um, default select action. Instead of play, I want to show the information. So normally when you um, click on a movie, it starts playing the movie. What this does, it actually shows the information for the movie itself first. And then you can hit play. Subtitles, again, uh, preferred subtitle. So this will pick the original stream language. Um, it could pick the user interface because what I like them in Dutch. So let's pick Dutch for this. And there's also closed captions. I'm not going to use that one. Um, language to download. That's of course also Dutch then. Uh, here you can actually pick several languages. So um, I only want Dutch and English indeed. So as you see here, it's Dutch and English now. And place the subtitles next to the video. I usually don't. Um, this option is if you actually have a DVD drive in the computer, which I don't at the moment. Uh, visual impairment and hearing impairment options. Um, since I don't use those, I'll leave it at that. TV. So this is for live TV, so which I'm going to set up as well. So I'm going to go to add-ons my add-ons PVR clients so these are all disabled so I'm gonna I use TV head end I'm gonna go configure put in the IP address of my server So that should be it for live TV. And I'm now gonna enable the add-on. So you first must enable the add-on before enabling live TV. So I'm gonna go to live TV, enable. Next up, music. I'm gonna actually leave it as like this. I don't have any pre preparation. Weather, okay. So you need a service for weather information installed and currently there are none installed yet. So I do get more. Open weather. So it's now installing the add-on. So I'm going to settings, location. So, I added my own town. And at the same time, I'm gonna install some add-ons since it's still scanning. And install from repository. I'm gonna install some video add-ons I usually use. So, Dumbert, which is quite funny one. Uh, one of my favorites is Tweakers. It's a Dutch uh, IT website. Um, let's pick some Dutch news. Uh, NOS. And another one, Hardware Info. is hardware so you see me jumping uh, quite fastly through the menu that's why I am holding shift and then typing the letter so if I use shift T W I end up directly at tweakers so that's how you can quickly go through lists if you have a keyboard okay let's 
in also install some audio. Where is it? Ah, music. I got radio. Title. And let me also install some picture add-ons. 500 pics and the big picture, which is very good. Services. Um, here you can set up the web interface. So here's the default name, uh, Cody, uh, if you're going, uh, seeing it on the network. I'm also sharing my UPnP so I can browse uh, from any other device. Also allow control. I want to allow my remote control through HTTP and instead of default web interface, I'm going to install another one. I like Chorus. And since I don't use the other ones on this one, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, very important is system. Here you can actually uh, choose some uh, options regarding the sound output. And I'm going to put it on advanced mode so you can browse down, hit advanced. And then you see you have several more options, which you don't have if you do standard. As you see here, I only get some options. Advanced. Since I have my AVR uh, attached, I'm going to go uh, Wasapi default and 7.1. So normally you also see here the enable uh, pass through, which has also all the DTS uh, options. But since my AVR is not attached yet, I can actually show you. So for the pass through, you need to pick the settings advanced level, and then you would find uh, in the audio output all the options for DTS and all. I also don't all use, um, oh, I'm going to show um, notification event logging. So what that does is actually show you a list of possible failed uh, items in your uh, library. So I'm going to enable that and we'll come back to that later. So since it's already scanning, as you see, it's already found uh, several movies. It's also adding the HD or SD tag next to it. And here you have the, the collection, which you recognize by the, the icon next to it. So instead of the HD or SD, you have the discs, which means it's a collection. And here you have the movies inside the collection itself. So that might actually take some time before all the icons show up. So just be patient. So on the left side, you can also ch change the view. As you see here, it's still, it's slowly adding all the posters because it's still downloading them from the movie database. So once you went through your library a uh, couple of times, they should all be there. So don't worry about that. Okay, so TV shows are there, movies, videos. Uh, this is live TV. So I'm good now just uh, switch to live TV here.
Oh, it's not working yet. Doesn't matter. Probably my server is still busy. Um, I'm gonna go to system again. Appearance, settings. I'm gonna add some add-ons uh, below music and movies and videos. So music. Put the RDO and the title and videos. I'm gonna pick all the other ones. And for pictures, we do the same. I don't have any programs I really need, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't change all these settings actually, so just try them out and see what they do. So what now happened is uh, we put all of the icons uh, below. So normally, ah, there you go. Here you see the icons. For music you also have them. And for pictures. If we go to weather, I also now have all the forecast of my hometown. So this is basically um, a quick setup on Cody. So it keeps the default skin because that's another matter on totally setting up another skin. But as you see, uh, getting Cody running within a short time is very, very well done. So it's it's not that difficult. So you just need to knew, know some of the tricks on how to add your movies and your TV shows. I hope you find this useful as a quick uh, start on getting to run Cody. There's much more to do and much more to find. So just uh, keep using Cody and hope you enjoy it.